Today, Louisville Fire remembered two firefighters who died in the line of duty. WDRB's Amanda Roberts shows us how they were honored. Amanda. Good morning, guys. So the names of firefighter Sean McAdams and Sh Sergeant Jeffrey Camp Schaefer, they've already been etched into this memorial here, but fire and city leaders say remembering their service is about so much more. Mayor Craig Greenberg joined Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill and other community fire leaders this morning by the fallen firefighter memorial in Jefferson Square Park. Greenberg placed a family heirloom on the podium, his grandfather's helmet used when he served as a firefighter in New York. He says it's a symbol of his respect for firefighters and the work they do. While honoring the lives of the two firefighters, Greenberg also presented a proclamation in honor of Fire Prevention Week this week. Oklahoma Sergeant Jeffrey Camp Schaefer died December 2017, one month after he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Louisville firefighter Sean McAdams suffered a stroke while on duty last year and died in the hospital a short time later. Those who knew both McAdam and Camp Schaefer the most say that they both deserve for the public to remember their names. Well, he was a very funny person. I mean, comical, never a dull moment when he was around. He definitely loved his uh, wife, my sister. He would always joke about her and whatever. And I say, that's your wife, because whatever he would say was not my sister. So, But he loved his kids, do anything in the world for his kids. If you saw me throughout, I was smirking and smiling because that's how I like to remember Sean, is he was such a full of life, a great firefighter, tell their stories, talk about them, say their names. Don't concentrate on how they died or that they died, but that they lived and how they lived. So friends and loved ones say that both men were huge family men and both very proud fathers. The memorial was held in conjunction with Fire Prevention Week. Louisville firefighters, they've already been out here helping to educate the public on best practices and tools and information that you can use to prevent fires in your home and in your community. They're going to be out here until 1 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live in Jefferson Square Park with photojournalist Pete Ruiz, I'm Amanda Roberts, WDRB News.